Now in this video we are going to learn about a type of displacement sensor. As you can see here we have uh, three potentiometers. What is a potentiometer? A potentiometer is a, basically a variable resistance. And as you can see here it has three terminals and there is some fixed resistance at these two terminals which is also written at the back, 5 kilo ohm. We are going to verify that with the multimeter. So here we are getting 5 kilo ohm resistance. Now, as I said variable resistance. Variable resistance is a resistance whose resistance varies. Now in this case its resistance varies when I move this potentiometer in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Now this uh, middle one terminal is a variable resistance terminal. Here we will be getting the variable resistance. For example if we have 5 kilo ohm, 5 kilo ohm over here and it is at the extreme left position we will be getting 0 ohm over here and 5 kilo ohm over here. Now when I move this proportionally midway, in that case I will be getting 2.5 kilo ohm here and 2.5 kilo ohm here. Now if I move it to the extreme right, I will be getting 5 kilo ohm over here and 0 kilo ohm over here. So that's we are going to verify with the multimeter. So let's take this potentiometer and that is wired one. I have connected these three different color wires to the three terminals of this potentiometer. This brown wire is the middle one and these are the extreme left and right. So initially we will check the uh, resistance between these two wires. Now it is coming out to be 4.9293 or near about 5 kilo ohm. Now if I check the resistance between the middle one, it is showing 0 ohm. But when I rotate this potentiometer, to certain distance it will be showing 2 kilo ohm when I rotate it further the resistance increases now this resistance increase between these two terminals but on the other hand it is decreasing between the other two terminals you can see here it's 2.4 when I rotate it it decreases. So that's the basic reason, basic principle of variable resistance. The resistance get divides between these two sections. Section Junction 1 is this one. Let's say it's X or Y and Z. If I am increasing the resistance between X and Y, the resistance between Y and Z is decreasing. So that's known as potential divider. So it is, uh, we can use it as a potential divider by giving voltage at this terminal. Right now it is a variable resistance. Now let's see how to how to measure this variable resistance and how we can uh, calibrate the movement of this uh, this uh, potentiometer in, in terms of voltage. Now I have connected the 24 volt power supply to the two extreme terminals of this potentiometer. Now if I check the voltage at this wire, I will see that initially it is at the zero volt. Now because my resistance is 0 in this case because V is equal to IR now resistance is 0 that's why voltage is 0 when I move this potentiometer I'll see the increase in voltage that is indicated on the multimeter it will increase linearly as I move this potentiometer now if it is at 17 voltage at this situation now this is at higher potential 17 volt between this and this black wire. It is showing 17 volts. Now when I check the potential between uh, this brown and red one, it will comes up to be 24 minus 17, 7 volts. As you can see here, 6.7 volts near about. So what happening is the potential is being divided between these two sections. That's what we have to learn here. Now if I move it uh, to the extreme left, it will show 24 volts. Now it is at the maximum potential, the midway. So using this potentiometer we can uh, we can calculate the uh, angular movement, we can calculate the angular displacement. If, if we know that the angular displacement, overall displacement is like if you say the circumference of this uh, movement is around uh, 100 mm for example and if I move only 50% of it I will be getting 12 volts which indicates that it has been moved only 50 mm. So this is how we can calculate the angular movement of any object of any rotary part by using this potential. This is a basic uh, basic sensor used for measuring the angular motions.